Ah ja. Eu. Grando. Listen. Engage. Kasafti. Henry Fioli. Represent. Right, welcome to the latest in the Welsh Athletics series of In Conversation With. Um, I'm Steve Jones, the Welsh School's uh, Support Officer and uh, Welsh Athletics Lead Safeguarding Officer. Tonight I'm in conversation with Steve Hames. Steve is, is Chairman of Neath Harriers Athletics Club and was the winner of the award for uh, services to club development at the recent Welsh Athletics Award. So, well, welcome, Steve, and, and congratulations on the award. Thank you. So can, can we just kick things off by just telling us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background? Um, well, I suppose going back to the beginning, sort of, uh, once I left sort of college, joined the Air Force, spent 22 years in the Air Force, and through the Air Force, ended up in South Wales. Uh, didn't want to come to South Wales, if I'm honest. Uh, kicking and screaming, but once I found out how nice it was, uh, ended up settling here when I came out of the Air Force um, and got a job with Western Power, which is which I really enjoy because I get to travel around Wales a lot. And then while I was in the Air Force, uh, ended up, well, first I joined Bridge End uh, Athletic, uh, spent a couple of years with them, uh, got injured, had a bit of time out of the sport, when I came back then, after injury, uh, came back to Neath Harriers. Um, nothing against Bridge End, but purely because Neath trained on a Tuesday and it was just a better night for me. And uh, joined Neath Harriers, uh, enjoyed running with them. Uh, they're all bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Good laugh, train hard, but absolutely bonkers. Uh, had a good time with them and then um, my daughter started doing the junior athletics a few years ago, uh, started off running, got injured, uh, took up hammer because she was injured and did really well. Got a good coach set up there with the, uh, the hammer. And through her and her competing, I got more and more involved in the club and then ended up as chairman by accident, really, not because I wanted to, but uh, here I am and uh, very lucky to have a good team around me. Um, you know, I, I've won this award, but to be honest, I've just been very lucky. Things happened at the right time and got good people around me and uh, things work well at the club. Is that enough? That's, yeah, yeah, that, I think that's, that's, that gives us a bit, you know, a bit of information about your, your background. I mean, so when was, it, when was it exactly that you got involved in, this, in the sport? Competitive? Um, Running wise, I was when I was in the Air Force, I was uh, in training at Holton, and uh, we got we got told that we were marshalling the, the cross country championships. So I'm stood in a in the snow in a pair of shorts and a t shirt, uh, and uh, Steve Jones come flying past. Obviously, uh, the other Steve Jones, the, the, the marathon runner who was also in the Air Force. And uh, of course, he was miles ahead of the field. And I was doing a bit of running, but I didn't think I was any good, to be honest. And then I just noticed all the other guys coming around after him, you know, and I thought, well, I can run as good as them. So once I, once I moved, once I got to my uh, station when I, when I left training, then I, I took up cross country and uh, I went from there, really. 
And, you know, through then sort of did a bit of triathlon and and then uh, once I got a bit tall for that, just sit back to running again and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so would you said that that Steve Jones was the one who really inspired you to get uh, to get involved? Yeah, I suppose he was. Him, him and really probably the other guys in the race, you know, because I looked at them and thought, well, if they can do it, I can do it. So, you know, it was, you know, it was, uh, it was a bit of a moment for me, I suppose, really realising that I could do something because I was never any good at anything else. I couldn't, I was rubbish at football and cricket and rugby. So, yeah, that's where we go. Yeah. Um, would you have been stationed at St. Athens at the same time as Steve? No, I just missed him. Um, <laughs> there's a sort of funny story. I did end up at uh, a few years later at the cross country championships with the Air Force. And uh, I bent down to get changed in the changing rooms and some bloke knocked me over. And it, it was Steve Jones, because <laughs> it was a busy, busy changing rooms. And, uh, you know, that was the one good thing about the sport as well. There's me, just some ordinary runner stood next to you know uh somebody who's just won the london marathon and you know a record holder you know it's that's one of the nice things about running i suppose you get to meet you know a lot of people through the sport yeah i i think you know that that's one thing that i would count myself lucky in that uh i made a lot of friends um in my time competing with these areas including yourself and uh you know th those friends tend to be tend to remain friends on a lifelong basis, because I mean, you you share so much stuff, I think, and uh, uh, despite the fact then that we lose, that, that you know we do sometimes lose touch with each other, it's very very easy then to to pick things up when you were uh, when you when your paths cross again, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so how would you say the sport has changed since since you've been involved in it? Um, what I would what I think is really good these days is sport is so much more inclusive. Um, when I was a kid, I, I was I was the last one to get picked. When it was picking picking teams for football and stuff, it was I was the last one to get picked because I was useless. And when I was a kid, if you weren't any good at sport, you were just sort of pushed to one side. Whereas nowadays, it's, it's all, most sport is you know is all inclusive, and it's great that that anybody can come down the track you know with us or mm. in other sports. Think you know they're so much more welcoming. And, it, and, you know, I think, you know, ask anybody who's been involved in sport, it does give you a lot of confidence just being able to do stuff like that, as well as, you know, being healthy. It, uh, it, it's great for people's confidence to be able to do something uh, and uh, you know, get on the track or just run across the country, anything like that. And so that's, that's, that's one thing I think has is, is, is changed and it's, it's changed for the better as well. Yeah, so you'd mentioned earlier on that those sort of early days when when you first sort of transferred from Bridgend down, down to Neath. So I mean, um, th thinking back to those to those times, I suppose, what what was your favourite occasion uh, when you were involved competing in these areas? Uh, oh well, to, my sort of favourite occasions are just being stood in a wet, a wet muddy field doing cross country. To know me, whether it's whether it's racing organizing uh, or anything really, I, you know, I'm more than happy. Even on the side of a mountain, Park Brimbach, about three, two years ago, three years ago, horizontal rain, and just watching some of, some of the kids from these areas coming across the line, it was horrendous, it was horrendous. But they were all smiling, you know, and kids are losing their shoes, but they didn't care, and, you know, it's good. I, I just, I love cross country, basically. That's, that's where I'm the happiest, I like, yeah. So good memories of club events as well, things like the the Castles Relay and the, and you know I, I I don't know were you involved in the National Twelve stage at all? Oh yeah, yeah, I, that was yeah I did I think I did one or two of the of the Twelve stage. I ended up in a, in a starting pen with Richard Naroka and yeah. looking at him going, <laughs> what am I doing here? Like you know I was uh, that was a bit. Um, yeah, and then obviously Castles Relay is always a highlight because it's because it's a team event, you know, and it's it's one of the few things you get to as a team. So always good fun. Yeah, real real fond memories of that. And, and what about proudest moment? Um, proudest moment was probably f oh, a few years ago, just after I'd become chairman. Uh, the next thing they said to me was, "Oh, 
By the way, we're hosting five events in May. Oh, right. And the first one was the West Wales Championships. And I'd never organised a meet before. Uh, I'd done a bit of officiating, so I knew a little bit, but literally I had to read a book, find out how to do everything. And um, just, it, it went really well. I was really lucky, loads of help from other people. The, the rest of the guys at the club were great. Everybody chipped in, everybody worked really hard. And uh, it was a really good day. It was just, you know, at the end of the day, you can, so, you know, after the stress and the strains and everything, you could sit back and relax and just look back and just see, you know, how well things went. And it was just, just so nice to see the club, you know, working together so well and putting, a, putting an event on like that because we're only a small club. And uh, yeah, it was, that, was, that was really good. I was so pleased that it went well, you know, for the club really more than anything. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, just, just I suppose as well, just to um, uh, just to look at just to look at it from the opposite point of view. Then, I mean, we, we've we've touched on now your sort of favourite occasions and and proudest moment. Is, are, are there anything that any things that you look back on where you think mm, that wasn't such a great day, or you know, you, maybe your least favourite moment? But what would that have been? Um, the club presentation when I have to stand on a stage and make a speech. I I'm. I hate it. I really, I'm not a good speaker. You know, I'm more than happy to, to be in the background and, and definitely don't want to be in the limelight. Uh, and I just know I'm not very good at it. And, I, you know, the presentation should be something that, you know, it's a celebration of everybody and it should be something that we enjoy. And I don't, I don't think I, I do anything to, <laughs> to, to make it a good occasion. So that, I, you know, it's a job that a chairman should do, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd much rather be somewhere else than on a stage. Yeah, that's not my favourite bit. I mean, obviously now you know that this last year has been has been really difficult in in, ter in terms of keeping people engaged and, um, and 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 communicating with people. I suppose as as well, um, it, it's been a real challenge, and I think that that's been echoed in a, a lot of the the conversations that we've seen in the series. So what, what would you see now as being the priorities for Neath Harriers um, as we hopefully uh, return to sport over the next few months? Um, just to try and get as many people back as possible. To, um, I think as a sport, we're in a really good position because it's, it's a lot easier for, easier for us to, to start back training just purely because of the way the sport's set up and, and how we operate on the track. So compared to team sports, you know, we've got an advantage because we can train, you know, at, at a distance and, and we can, you know, all work on the track and still be safe. Um, and I'd really like to, if we can, push on and, and try and bring some of the disciplines back that we've not been doing so much, like long jump, high jump, um, and, and all the other sort of disciplines that we've, you know, we've done running and hammer throwing and all that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, it'd be really nice to get the other disciplines up and running. And if anything, we've, we've probably picked up a few extra members, you know, during the last time we were on the track because of the other sports were, weren't able to, to train. People were coming to us, you know, because they couldn't do anything else. And it'd be nice to keep them and, uh, and watch the sport grow. Yeah, I, I, I know how hard you've worked as well, you know, to try to get... Um, the female section at the club had, had, had fallen away quite dramatically, I think, over the last few years since we lost lost the coach that was leading on that. So and I know how hard you work to um, uh, to re-establish that. So um, how do you see that moving forward? Um, yeah, it would be, it'd be nice to get to get uh, more more girls involved. If you know anybody who wants to come along, that's, that's great. And it's just nice to have a, a rounded club. You know, we've got a great junior section. Uh, the senior section does really well, and 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 that would make it a much more sort of balanced sort of setup at the club. And uh, you know, it's nice to see the girls there, and you know, they they seem to be enjoying it. And uh, hopefully, we'll grow from there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice to have them there. Well, St Steve, uh, you know, to to be fair, I think I think we've pretty much touched on on most of what we'd agreed now at the at the, at the outset here in terms of. Uh, are there any any other experiences that you, what you want to share with us? 
Uh, well, and all I'd like to say is I, I've been really lucky. I know, you know, I've got this award and everything, but, you know, I was so lucky with people that turned up at the club just after me, coaches and stuff, and and just uh, things like, uh, you know, we needed a new pole vault bed. And, you know, it just so happens that, you know, oh, and at night I got an old one. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 I couldn't have been luckier, you know. Um, and just people that have walked through the gate, you know, and, and come along and helped us out. And, uh, and the team that I've got there, you know, it, although I've got this award, you know, I, did I really develop the club? I don't know. I think I'm just part of a team that works really hard. And, uh, you know, I look forward to the future and hope we can continue to grow a little bit. Uh, yeah, so that's about it, really. Yeah, no, I think, you know, you've been extremely generous there. And I mean, obviously, I've got massive connection with, with, with the club and I, I know the people that you're talking about. And I know I know the support that, that you've been given since you've been uh, since you've been in post. But, uh, you know, I, I think that, to be fair, you've been a, a, a breath of fresh air. Uh, and, and have brought uh, an energy to the club that, uh, uh, as, as uh, be, being your predecessor, that, that, that I couldn't. So, I mean, um, um, I think, again, it's, it's congratulations on the award. So it's richly deserved and uh, um, just look forward now to being back on the track with you as quickly as possible. Yeah, here's the future. Thanks, Steve. <laughs>